Graham Arnold, I mean, there's been a lot of criticism for, of him outside of the team, but we've heard from the players, we've heard from Andrew Redmayne this morning. They all seem to, to love him. What do you think from the outside looking in? Everyone loves a coach when they win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, look, it's, it, you know, it, coaching, it, it, you're always going to have criticism. You're always going to have people doubting. You're always going to have people. It's always good, you know, in hindsight that, that uh, oh, he should have done this, he should have done that. It's been a difficult campaign. It hasn't been easy. Uh, we haven't qualified easy in the past two or three campaigns. So uh, we, we know that uh, going through Asia is not easy. We haven't got the, the depth of the squad that we had yet years ago, but we've got some good young players coming through and, and Arnie deserves credit because, you know, that, that people were writing him off. They didn't believe we could even beat the UAE and in this short period he got the players believing again because just before this the players weren't believing. We didn't see it in them. Um, but these last two games they got that belief back. They got that Australian spirit back in, in saying that we can take on anyone in this world. And we did that with a, a top South American side. And then again, I say we were the better side this morning against Peru. Well, a fan behind the penalty shootout was holding up a John Al Aloisi jersey uh, from 2005 with the number 15 uh, on it. We're showing it right on screen now. So perhaps that was a good <laughs> omen, John. Yeah, well, I hope I played my part then. <laughs> Maybe it put the, the player off that missed the penalty. I'm not sure if it was a good omen or not. Of now that we won, we can say it's a good omen. But, Absolutely. Uh, it's quite funny to see that jersey in the background. <laughs> well, your moment was the greatest moment uh, in Socceroos history. Do you think today might supersede that? Are you happy to hand that over? I'm happy to hand it over. As long as we get to the World Cup, that's five consecutive World Cups now that we qualify for. That's some feat. Um, and, and I can't wait. I can't wait for the World Cup now. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting for the Socceroos, exciting for football in this country because we also had the Women's World Cup in 2023. Mm. It's a good time to be part of the game and uh, I'm just so happy we qualified because uh, you know, I would have been a, a pretty upset man this morning if we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, when this happened back in 2005, Jimmy Callanan uh, tells me that he was doing Vox Pops on the Central Coast uh, and people, parents, were naming their children after you. We could have a few Andrew <laughs> Redmaynes running around after this. You could, and maybe with those beards on there, <laughs> like a red, is, he's got some beard, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, look, that, that's what uh, sport does. You know, moments last with people forever, and uh, and that's why it, it's so important. You know, th this moment here will end up, uh, you know, you bringing more people to the game and playing the game. You see in uh, Fed Square the, the excitement on the, on the faces. It can unite uh, a nation. You know, we all know that uh, football. Uh, is a world game. It unites everyone, and the, the excitement on on these fans and and yeah, let, let, there might be a, a couple of Andrew Redmaynes running around in 15, 20 years' time for the <laughs> national team. Uh, let's hope so, John. Before I let you go, you did mention the women's team as well and the women's uh, World Cup. I think uh, women's soccer has come uh, so far, uh, very much uh, thanks to to Sam Kerr and the amazing uh, team around her. Um, as we head into this World Cup. Um, and we see the success of the, the women's team. I feel like a sport, soccer in this country, call it, let's call it football, has really just gone up a notch. Yeah, it has, especially the women's game. And, uh, look, the, the amount of young girls playing now is, uh, you know, it's, it's the number one play sport uh, in Australia. The, the young girls that are playing and are coming through are exceptional players. And Sam Kerr is the face of it. And, uh, and you know, the Matildas... Uh, you know, they're one of the, the, the everyone's favourite team to follow, a national team to follow in Australia. And uh, the World Cup's coming up. It's a big World Cup for us. Uh, the, the rest of the Australia will see what football means uh, for the rest of the world. And also, we, we've got a chance of winning. Uh, we've got one of the best players in the world. We've got a good group of players. And uh, and we just keep on growing as a, as a sport. And it's a good time to be part of uh, football in this country. Absolutely. We are the good news movement this morning and the Socceroos are leading our bulletin today for very good reason. John, a pleasure to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me on, Laura.